Alright guys, so Titan is ranked 290 right now, so he's doing absolutely insane, but yeah, like I was talking about, I just haven't really been enjoying the meta, and I know some people say I complain a fair amount, but if you are trying to have success with 3.0, it just honestly is quite frustrating, and that's kind of where my thoughts stem from, because I try and have success, but I understand that I could also adapt and, you know, play a different deck or even a different archetype, but I'd rather just play the deck that I enjoy the most, right? So it's just been kind of sad to see how Monk and Phoenix are kind of destroying the viability of many archetypes right now. But anyways, uh, back to the main topic here. The reason that I made this video is because I have not been playing, but I still wanted to show you guys some of the top ladder content with Three Products with Cycle, and Titan is pretty much one of the only suppliers of said content. So he is 290 right now global, which is honestly astounding to me, because I stopped at like 2100, 2200 rating. Um, he's currently 2800 plus, so I would not have the patience to play through Pano in this kind of meta. He has only been playing through Pano up to this point so far, I'm pretty sure, so it's just really incredible. I checked his Royal API, and he's playing this. Like, he's not playing Monk, Phoenix, anything. So, goes for an expo in the middle right here, and that is interesting because against 2.6, something I actually dislike quite a lot is the fact that they can fireball log your expos and the tower, but you'll notice that the opponent can't do that here because Titan went expo in the middle, so that's quite an innovation, I guess. have not really seen that, although obviously it doesn't really get much of a connection, if any, at all because uh, the opponent was easily able to defend it, because if you do get a hog, uh, or do get an expo down in the middle, they are just easily able to attack it, and is very vulnerable. You know, with a hog, with a cannon, with a musketeer on either side, it's too risky to just spam protect, especially in single. And right now, Argedian, his opponent here, is just spamming cannons, and Titan actually fireballs tower, so that is a play that I will take note of, um, because I know Titan likes to fireball cycle quite a lot with this deck. It's definitely what makes it a lot more viable than just expo all the time. Uh, but yeah, what something I really dislike in this matchup is the fact they can just pre-cycle cannons and then stall out your expos. But Titan did just elect to fireball the tower when that happened, so he's not feeding the cannon any value. It's technically just a minus one trade and getting a free fireball on tower if you think about it. And just fireballs tower again, wow. So this is a completely new playstyle. I've not really seen against uh, Hog 2.6, but again, I've been watching Titan for many months now at this point. Like, he is definitely one of my favorite expo players of all time to watch, and the opponent here gets a very aggressive fireball, and I think Muskie might have gotten a hit on the tower there, or if not, the fireball definitely did, and the hog did, so that is an influx of damage for the opponent that is not going to be nice for Titan. Now he's forced to go for an expo, which I completely understand because he needs the damage back. Um, has to let the expo die, sadly, because as you can see, uh, the play for 2.6 in a situation like this, they usually pressure opposite with a hog, and then they can just get away with like a cannon on your expo, or like ice golem kiting and stalling, not kiting, but like stalling and tanking. Um, I actually did the math, which is kind of funny, but I think an ice golem tanks for like 29% of an expo by itself. Uh, so that is honestly just a testament to how annoying it can be going against Ice Golem with this deck if they have a fast cycle and just stall you out forever. He is again just fireball cycling. I'm actually really impressed if he wins this one because this will be a completely new playstyle against 2.6 and I actually might try it myself sometime because uh, the opponent isn't fireballing back which is what I would probably do if I was him. Uh, with that being said, if he does fireball back instantly, Titan could just maybe go for an expo or something. Yeah, I give the wow, I am as surprised as Argadian here, because, again, this is just a completely innovative and completely new way to play. And I know Titan has been fireball cycling for a long time. Really impressive Tesla as well there, by the way. It's such a small nuance, but because he played the Tesla one tile lower, the Musketeer wasn't able to snipe it. And I guess he knew that the opponent would predict the Tesla with the Musketeer high. Because uh, if you center place a Tesla three tiles down, they will be able to hit it with a musky, but four tiles down, I guess not. And that does mean the fireball, or the Tesla rather, is susceptible to a fireball and your tower if it's four tiles down, but uh, at the same time, um, the opponent didn't have elixir because he predicted with the musketeer, so. Still trying to get an offensive and expo initiative happening here. Does get back to a Tesla, and he's actually up in damage right now. I don't believe he's gotten a single expo lock in this game. I might be wrong, but I think it's all been fireballs, and he's actually winning this way. So this is definitely, again, a new way to play 2.6. I don't know if I'm as comfortable as him just fireball cycling a lot. As you can see, he's protecting his Tesla, and he is ahead in damage. So 2.6 has a faster cycle, but I think Titan's going to get the win here just because he's up by, like, 50 damage. I don't even know how that happened. But it did happen, right? Maybe he got a small lock at some point, or like an Ice Spirit, I don't know. I don't remember exactly, but he does come out on top. I don't think the opponent's back to a Fireball in time. He's laughing, he's upset, but really nice win. Shows you Titan's playstyle against 2.6. Again, I've said this many times, but just very creative, very innovative, and a new way to win, and he did win, even if it was just by a hair. So really, really impressive win by Titan there.